What's up YouTube, Silver Dragons here, and in this video, I'm going to explain the true value of silver. And to do that, I'm going to use a silver quarter. So let's do it! Thank you so much for watching my video. I sincerely appreciate it. If you'd like to learn more about investing in precious metals, or if you just want to watch awesome videos about gold and silver, then make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Okay, so let's talk about the true value of silver. So let me get my silver coins out here. Really excited about these. I've been trying to get as many as I could this year. Come on. There we go. Making a pretty good dent on the constitutional silver. All right, look at that. Over $100 face value. So this right here is constitutional silver. And constitutional silver is also referred to as junk silver. But what it is, is US coinage. Uh, we're talking dimes, quarters, and half dollars. Anything minted from 1964 or older is considered to be junk silver, which is actually 90% silver and 10% copper. So look at all this right here. There's the thumbnail. <laughs> anyway, uh, so let's get into the silver quarter story. But before I tell the traditional story of how a silver quarter is worth basically the same as it used to be back in the 60s and how we can prove that with inflation and things of that nature this is a very classic story uh, a lot of silver stackers have been told this and if there's anyone who you want to explain to them the value of silver this is actually a great story to use um, so I'm gonna talk about the traditional one here in a second but first I want to tell my own story about a silver quarter it's not one of these silver quarters it's a different one it's actually a three nines fine silver quarter but it looks like this now. Captain America. Isn't that cool? This is actually pure silver. It used to be a quarter, but I smashed it. Uh, I used one of these, the 2019 silver sets. And these are kind of cool because all these quarters are not 90%, uh, but they're three nines fine. 2019 was the first year that they made these quarters out of pure silver. So anyway, let me tell you my silver quarter story, and then we'll get to the traditional one. So when I was in Disneyland smashing these quarters, which by the way, it's completely legal. I was just doing it for fun because I wanted to collect all the different designs. Uh, but regardless, I ran into some people there, and they saw my really shiny quarters, and they were very curious about them. And they said, you know, what's up with those super shiny quarters? Why don't they look like regular quarters? What's different about them? And I explained to them that they were made out of pure silver. They're not just regular clad quarters like everyone else has. And so they are very special and they have extra value. And uh, the girl actually said to me, uh, how much are they worth? And I explained to her that I paid about $5 a piece for each one of them. Now they do carry a little bit of a premium. Uh, but that's how much I paid. And she was astounded. And she said the most incredible thing. I'll never forget it. She said, why would someone pay more money for less money? Isn't that crazy? And when she said it, uh, to me, it just completely blew my mind. What you just said is one of the most insanely idiotic things I have ever heard. <laughs> so to me, it was absolutely astounding that her understanding of what money was is not the same as mine. I know that silver is worth more. It, a quarter that's made out of silver is worth more than a quarter because there's silver in it. So let's talk about the true value of silver uh, and we'll do the actual silver quarter story now. So in order to do the silver quarter story, we're going to need a silver quarter. So let's go ahead and use this one here. Uh, we'll go ahead and see the date on it. You can see it's silver because the side uh, doesn't have two tones there. It's just one color, solid, all the way through. Uh, and this one is, let's see, a 1964, perfect, the last year of the silver quarters. Uh, so we'll use this one, and we will also use a clad quarter, this one here, uh, 1978. You can see on the side, there's actually two different colors there uh, because these 
are not silver, obviously. They're made out of copper with a nickel plating. So that's why it looks grayish, sort of a silvery color, but uh, it's just nickel on the outside of a copper planchet. So there you go. So anyway, why is this quarter worth so much more than this quarter? All right, so we'll start with the silver quarter. Let's go all the way back to the 60s. So here's how the story goes. In the 60s, you could buy a gallon of gas for about 25 cents. Now, I scoured the internet, and that seems a little bit cheap. Uh, the cheapest I could find was under 30 cents, which is great. I'll show a picture here on the screen. So you could basically buy a gallon of gas for about a quarter. Well, now inflation has happened since then, and obviously you can't buy a gallon of gas for a quarter anymore. However, you can still buy a gallon of gas for a silver quarter. Isn't that interesting? So a silver quarter must obviously have more value than a regular quarter, and it does because there's silver in it. In fact, it doesn't even need to look like a quarter. It could be melted down and it would still have the melt value. So to figure out the melt value of a silver quarter, I'll take you over to the computer. All right, so this is the website, coinflation.com, one of my favorite websites. We're gonna click on silver coin values. Uh, simply scroll down to the quarters. We'll be looking for the Washington quarter. That's the example we're using. So here we go, click on that there. And uh, I'll just pop it up. We can see denomination of 25 cents. Yes, yes, 90% silver, all good stuff. Here it has the spot price of silver. It does automatically populate that. So 1445 as I'm filming. And here is the melt value, $2.61. So there you go, worth over 260 right now. So isn't that crazy that this has so much value compared to a regular quarter? Uh, I should say just a clad quarter. But these are actually trading at a premium right now. Uh, junk silver is going for over spot. So it's worth more than just the melt value. This is actually worth about $3 right now if I were to sell it. So there you go. You can still buy a gallon of gas for a silver quarter how crazy is that in fact i went and filled up today and it was only 250 per gallon so i guess i could have got more than a gallon of gas so silver has kept up with inflation and uh that's why i love it so much as a hedge i love you i know so what about the quarters after 1964 why aren't those worth more and what is the actual value of a clad quarter so let's go ahead and pull out the other quarter here now, it's absolutely insane when you look up the value of this. We can do it the same way uh, on that Coinflation website. So let's actually go do that right now. All right, so this website is actually super cool because it has the value of the clad coinage as well. So we'll just click on the Washington quarters from 1965 till present. Uh, these are mostly copper, but there is some nickel, as you can see there. Uh, so that's sort of the breakup of the alloy and then we scroll down and we can see the melt value check this out 0 0.038 so under four cents melt value for a regular clad quarter that's just because of the copper in it isn't that crazy so if i were to ask the average person how much are these quarters worth they would probably tell me they're both worth the same they're both worth 25 cents well that is how much of a US dollar they're worth. They're worth 0.25 of a US dollar or a quarter dollar. That's why we call them a quarter. But now that you know the silver one is worth so much more, you have a little better understanding. So I'm actually gonna explain why silver is worth so much more than the clad. Because if we melt them down, obviously the one on the left is worth under four cents for its actual value, its inherent value. But the one on the right, that's worth about 261 right now for the melt value. Of course, I wouldn't recommend melting them down because it is nice to have them in this form. And like I said, they are trading at a premium right now. So I would obviously keep it as a silver quarter because they're so trusted and recognized and things of that nature. Uh, but regardless, people just cannot wrap their brains around silver being money. Well, silver is money. It's a great form of money. Total? 
Now, when people talk about silver being worth money, the most common thing they bring up is the fact that it does have industrial value. And while that is true, silver has value beyond its industrial value, and that is because it makes great money. I'm not talking about just a silver quarter. I'm talking about silver in general. It is awesome. It has all the characteristics of what money should have. Uh, but if you're looking at just the industrial value, silver is used in our everyday lives. It's in our electronics, so cell phones, computers, solar panels. It's used in medicine uh, in the form of silver nitrate. They coat things with silver. It's also put in clothing to keep them from smelling bad and things of that nature. So silver is used, yes, a lot in industry. But beyond that, it's great as a form of money. It has all the characteristics of what money should have. And the biggest thing that separates the silver from the clad coinage is the fact that silver coinage has inherent value because it is silver, but also there's a finite amount of silver in this world. A government cannot create a bunch more silver and devalue the silver money. They just can't do it. They have to mine it and things of that nature. But when it comes to the clad coinage, they can make an unlimited amount of this. They can continue to make more and more, not just coins, but also dollars. And they don't even have to print dollars. They can just push a button on a computer and create a bunch of money out of thin air. It's not really money, it's actually currency. But when they do that, they devalue the currency because of inflation that they're causing. And you can see that just in the price of gas. Obviously, the price of gas has gone up so much, which is why the silver quarter example is a great one to use to talk about silver and how amazing it is as a hedge against inflation. So it's just crazy that we entrust our government uh, to our currency and our money, and they are inflating it. They're creating trillions and trillions of dollars right now uh, for bailouts and stimulus packages and stuff of that nature, but that will have a consequence. They have so much power, they think. With great power comes great responsibility. But in the end, it will be a weaker dollar. There's no way around it. It will cause more inflation, which is why I prefer to take my currency and trade it for real money in the form of silver. Now, you don't have to do silver coins. You could do silver bars, silver rounds. There's lots of silver products that you can buy, different bullion offerings to put your money into silver. And that's what I've been doing. It makes a great savings especially over a long period of time of course there can be peaks changes in the market things of that nature and you could in fact make a little bit of money off of silver you do have that potential uh, however i'm just storing my money in silver as savings that is my plan for right now so getting back to why silver has value i wanted to reiterate that this can be used for more than just industry Silver, because of its inherent value, is a great form of money. And that's why when that girl said, why would someone pay more money for less money? It just blew my mind. She didn't understand that this is money. It doesn't need to look like a coin. It can just be a blob of silver or a silver bar. And it still is money. It's a transfer of wealth when you give a piece of silver to another person and it's better than the money we use currently or i should say the currency because fiat currency or money that's just made out of thin air can be manipulated by a government because they can adjust the amount of currency that is out there silver money they cannot adjust the amount that is out there because they can't make silver out of thin air it has to be mined there has to be labor put into actually pulling this from the ground. So that is why silver makes great money. Now, one of the other great things about silver is it doesn't take a lot of effort to acquire it. It's relatively inexpensive. Like a silver dime is only worth about a little over a dollar right now. So it's not that much to actually acquire one of these. You don't have to have a crazy set of skills. But what I do have are a very particular set of skills. 
All you have to do is find someone that's willing to sell it to you. There's online bullion dealers. There's shops that when they have silver in stock, they're happy to sell it to you. You can purchase it from them, trade your currency for silver or actually money, and you're well on your way to having a good savings that cannot be inflated away by the government. Uh, now, I did make another video on silver versus currency. I had a lot of great points in that one. I talked about it in a little bit different of a way. If you haven't seen it, I'll put a link up in the corner as well as down below in the description. I highly recommend you checking that out. But I wanted to finish this video with one final thought, and that is the choices that you make right now could have a big impact on your future or your kids' futures. What we do in life echoes in eternity. And I would highly recommend that if you don't know much about silver and gold, you do more research about them. You learn why they're such a good store of value beyond what I just mentioned in this video, and you strongly think about putting some of your fiat dollars into silver and gold because I think that they have a lot of potential in the future with everything that's going on right now in the world with the government printing trillions and trillions of dollars. It's very possible we will see a sharp rise in inflation and it would be really nice to have your money in something like silver that is a protection against inflation. Gold as well, they're both considered to be a hedge, a safe haven asset, a great place to store your wealth. So I'll leave you with that. If you had any thoughts or any comments at all, please leave them down below in the comment section. I want to say a massive thank you so much for watching my video, and I'll see you all in the next one. Silver Dragons, out.